Hello everyone, welcome to Premier Math. Today we are going to discuss some important math problems on percentage based on previous year questions. We will be solving these questions using speed matrix. So let's start our session. Our first question is Gauri went to the Stershnas and bought things worth rupees 25, out of which 30 paise went on sales tax on taxable purchases. If the tax rate was 6 percentage, then what was the cost of tax free items? Here, 30 paise is for sales tax and tax rate is 6 percentage. Then 30 paise is equal to 6 percentage means cost of taxable item is 100 percentage of this. If 6 percentage is 30 paise, 100 percentage is the cost of taxable purchases. 6 goes 5 times in 30. So 1 percentage is 5 paise, 100 percentage is 500 paise which is equal to 5 rupees. So cost of taxable item is 100% which is equal to 5 rupees. Gauri totally purchased for 25 rupees out of which 5 rupees is for taxable purchases and 30 paise went on sales tax. So remaining is the cost of tax free items. So cost of tax free Items is equal to total purchase 25 minus 5 rupees is for cost of taxable purchase 30 paise for sales tax. 30 paise means 0.3 rupees. Total is 19.7 rupees. So option C is your answer. 65 percentage of a number is more than its 25 percentage by 120. What is 20 percentage of that number? Let us consider this number as x. Here the meaning of this first sentence is difference between 65 percentage and 25 percentage of a number is 120. Here 65 percentage of a number. Let us consider it as x which is equal to more than its 25 percentage by 120 which is 120 more than its 25 percentage. That is 65 percentage of a number is 120 more than its 25 percentage. Here difference between 65 percentage and 25 percentage is 40 percentage. So 40 percentage of x is 120 means 40 goes 3 times in 120. So 1 percentage of x is 3. Then 20 percentage of x will be 20 into 3, 60. Because 1 percentage is 3 means 20 percentage is 20 into 3, 60. Here the number is 1 percentage is 3 means 100 percentage of x is x which is equal to 3 into 100, 300. So the number is 300 and 20 percentage of the number is 60. So option D is your answer. A's salary is 30 percentage higher than B's salary. The percentage that B's salary is less than A's salary is. Here, A has more salary than B. Let's consider salary of B as 100 rupees. Then, salary of A must be 100 plus 30. 130 rupees because a salary is 30 percentage higher than b salary. Now the percentage that b salary is less than a salary means we need to find out how much percentage b salary is less than a salary. Here difference between a's and b salary is 130 minus 100 that is 30 rupees. So required percentage is B salary is 30 rupees. 30 rupees less than A salary. So, if you convert in terms of percentage, which will be equal to 30 by 130 into 100. Here, 0, 0 cancel. 13 goes 2 times in 30. And remaining is 4. So, 13 goes 3 times in 40. Remaining is 1 by 13. So, option C is your answer. If the price of sugar is increased by 25 percentage, 
by how much person must a householder reduce his consumption of sugar so as not to increase his expenditure on sugar let us consider initial expenditure of sugar as 100 rupees now the price is increased by 25 percentage means new expenditure is 100 plus 25 125 rupees now the difference in expenditure is 25 rupees here price has increased but this householder do not want to increase his expenditure on sugar he want to keep it as 100 rupees initially he spent 100 rupees for sugar finally the current price is 125 but he don't want to spend 125 rupees he only want to spend 100 rupees so he need to reduce his consumption in order to keep the expenditure as 100 rupees then percentage reduction in consumption is here 25 rupees has to be cut from this 125 rupees in order to keep the initial expenditure that is 25 rupees has to be cut from this 125 rupees then percentage reduction in consumption is if you convert it in terms of percentage multiply it with 100 that is 25 by 125 into 100 which is equal to here 25 goes 5 times in 125 5 goes 20 times in 100 then 20 percentage is the percentage reduction in consumption so this householder needs to reduce 20 percentage consumption on sugar option d is your answer if you have doubt use this formula that is use p by 100 plus p into 100 in a two digit positive number the digits in the unit place is equal to the square of the digits in tens place and the difference between the number obtained by interchanging the digits and the number is 54 what is 10 percentage of original number so we have to find out 10 percentage of original number if you look at the options if 10 percentage is 15.6 means 100 percentage is 156 but we are looking for a two digit positive number this is three digit number so option a is wrong same way option c is also wrong because if 10 percentage is 37.2 100 percentage is 372 a three digit number so this is also wrong remaining is option b and d if you look at the option b if 10 percentage is 3.9 that means 100 percentage is 39 and if you interchange 39 it will be 93 and if you take the difference between 93 and the original number 39 it will be 54 which is in the question so option b is your answer same way if you verify the option d that is if 10 percentage is 2.4 that means 100 percentage is 24 and if you interchange the number 24 it will be 42 and if you take the difference between 42 and original number 24 which will not be equal to 54 it is just 18 so option d is also wrong so this way just by looking at the options you can solve this answer if you want to do it in another way you can also solve this question using number system that is digits in the unit place is equal to square of the digits in tens place that means if i take tens place digit as x 10x then unit digit will be square of this tens place that is x square tens place means 10 into x so if i take tens place digit as x then unit place digit will be x square now if you interchange the numbers that means x and x square interchanging so interchanging number number will be 10x square plus x and if you take the difference between interchanging numbers and original number this will be equal to 54 so if you solve this formula you will get the value of x then you can find the answer 
in a two digit positive number the digits in unit places equal to the square of the digits in tens place and difference between the number obtained by interchanging its digits and original number is 54 what is 60 percentage of the original number if you look at the option if 60 percentage is 23.4 10 percentage is 23.4 divided by 6 which is equal to 3.9 then 100 percentage is 39 and if you interchange the digits of 39 which is equal to 93 and if you take the difference between 93 and original number 39 which is equal to 54 and it is mentioned in the question so option a is your answer same way if you look at the other option 29.8 25.9 28.5 the unit digits are 8, 9, 5. So, which is not divisible by 6. So, option B, C, D are wrong. Because here 60 percentage is 29.8 means 10 percentage is 29.8 divided by 6. Which is equal to 4.96. And if you take 100 percentage which will be equal to 49.6. But question clearly says that two digit number. But all these three give you decimal point. So option B, C, D are wrong because all are not divisible by 6. So it will give you decimal point. Here you can also solve this question in different method as well. That is using number system. Here unit place is equal to the square of the digit in tens place. Let us consider tens place digit as x then number is equal to 10x plus now unit place digit is square of tens place digit means x square this is the original number and if you interchange the digit of this number that means interchanging x and x square so interchanged number is equal to 10x square plus x. Now if you take the difference between these two, that is equal to 54. That is 10x square plus x minus number is 10x plus x square, which is equal to 54. 10x square minus x square is 9x square. x minus 10x is minus 9x. So I will take 9 outside. That will be equal to 9x square minus x is equal to 54. Now 9 goes 6 times in 54. That is x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Means x plus 2 into x minus 3 equal to 0. That is x can be minus 2 or 3 but minus 2 is not possible so x is equal to 3 so the number will be equal to here number is 10x plus x square is equal to if x is equal to 3 means 10 into x is equal to 30 and x square is 9 so 39 so if x number is 39 then your answer is 60 percentage of 39 which is equal to 23.4. So option A is your answer.